So I'm gonna show you guys how I transport these two puppies through an airport. This one is going to be going to Seattle. It is a little bit of a sucky poo bear, and this one is trying to get inside my body. You can't get inside my body. Just show what we could do. No, no, no. So this one's gonna have a little bit of a layer over. So I wanna show you guys how I do that to make their travel experience a lot better. This one is such a baby. Okay. Oh, I know it's it. I, I see. Oh, pfft. Right in my mouth. You got me right in my mouth. I see you too. I see you too. I see you too. Thank you. That goes on. Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys. I've been recording for TikTok and not even recording for YouTube. So I'm transporting two pup pups. I got one in here drinking some water. This one is going to Seattle. And then this one's going to Arizona. I'm going to show you exactly how that is done. I have a playpen because this one right here is going to have a long layover over in Seattle. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do that with two babies. That's that good stuff. And especially with Frenchies, you want to make sure that they're super hydrated um, because they can overheat on planes and you don't want to keep them all zipped up all the time. Look at how good this puppy is. That's a whole good puppy. See, I'm a good puppy. I'm a good puppy. He's just looking out the window. I'll show you guys what he sees. He just sees all the little cars going by. This one is just going to town on that water. You were thirsty, huh, dude? I'm just looking at everybody with my butt go ears. We got both babies now. So this is the little girl, and this is the little boy. Now I got a full belly. If you pull over 175, there will be 102 of you. These babies are spoiled, so I got them all these toys. You like this one? What you think? That's my finger. How about this one? Oh. You like that one? Oh, you like that one. Okay. You know which one they're going to like. This one that I don't want them to have. What about this one? Okay. Fun. Look at this one. You guys can have this one, but you can only play with it supervised, okay? Only play with this one supervised. There you go. I don't want to pop up their big tent because it's so hard to get back down. Another 30 minutes and then we're going to be on our flight. So there's no point. I'll show it to you guys though. See? And they pop up their huge. They She is knocked out. Same with the other baby. My phone's charging, so I can't show you the other baby. Let's see. <laughs> I got a lot of toys in there. Sorry, it looks stuffy, but it's really not. They got a lot of room. And then this lovely pizza place came over here and gave me some cute little bowls and everything like that. Yeah, we can't touch. Hey, yo, man, we hear you don't. You can't eat that. It was delayed, and I thought I missed my flight when I got here because I it was long gone, and then come to find out that flight is delayed too. So the only bad thing is, is that one, they have to be traveling a lot longer. Two is the poor customer meeting me in Seattle now has to meet me like after midnight. So I feel, I feel super bad for that. drop off the one baby to its parents that have been so wonderful they've been so great and then we're gonna chill for a long time till our next flight I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff okay and then I'm gonna meet the family at 
baggage claim nine and figure out <laughs> how to get down the hi I'm coming I'm coming guys look it it's your family hi guys are you so excited I'm sorry it's so late so here you guys go hi <laughs> yeah because I just you. changed it <laughs> so so exciting. And since we have a little light for I had a really long layover in Seattle, so I just wanted to show you guys how I set everything up. I get these tents. I have a link in my bio where I get these tents from, and they're absolutely amazing. They saved my life, and the puppies super enjoy them, so I just put some pee pee pads down, and then I get some food and water and some toys that I bought them, and I put them in there. I do on the landers. I have these play pens. They're awesome. Just like unfold like this. She just went pee and poop. So now she has a full belly and is playing with her toys. So we found this little place right here and we're gonna sit and chill until it's time to board our flight. We're super early. I think I have like two hours. We have two hours. We're gonna go on the night. We're gonna go on the night. Okay, so we just landed. Hi to mom. It's a long day for you, huh? So they got their baby. Thank you, Loggy. Thank you, Felicia. Oh, you're welcome. You great Enjoy. job. Thank you. Nice job. Oh, it's 2:45. My alarm just went off. Back in Ohio, because I have to go back and pick up the other puppy that has to go to. Arizona. It was kind of last minute. I should have sent both the Arizona puppies together, but I already scheduled the other two. The other one came in like last minute, like the day yesterday, actually. So, um, I just did it as, you know, as a favor. I technically should be going home, but I'm going to get ready. Oh. I got about 30 minutes, I guess, before I gotta leave here. Just get ready, do my makeup. I'm not gonna do anything crazy because I'm gonna be in an airport. What's the point of that? I'm gonna have a mask on all day, so. Actually, I don't know why I'm putting on makeup at all. Hardest part about doing my makeup in the car is my eyebrows. I don't know why, but they always look like, like poop whenever I have to do them in the car. Carrying a puppy. It's probably gonna lick 90% of it off. If you guys wanna know, I don't like doing cats through airports. I prefer not to. One, I think it just freaks them out really bad. Airports are very scary for cats. They really don't like it. If it's Maine Coon, those cats do good in any environment. Since I'm kind of running a little bit late, what I'm gonna have to do is try and gain some time. And I pick up the puppy and do my hair at the airport. I'm at the airport, I gotta get my hair fixed, but guys, <laughs> oh, it's so high. <laughs> I think it's a boy. Yeah, I say I'm a boy. I am the cutest. He looks so big, but he's not. He's just wee tiny. So I'm just wee tiny. I'm going to get all his stuff ready. I am kind of running a little late. Sounds like that's what I do a lot. And I gotta do something with her, something. His toys, bring the toys that I bought for his brother and sister, got pee pee pads. It's a direct flight, I think. I, well, we have to stop in Texas and then, um, but it says that you don't, I don't change flights. So I think it just lands, 
picks some people up and then continues on. So I don't think I actually get out of the plane. Plus I don't, um, with these breeds of dogs, Frenchies, don't put blankets and stuff inside their carrier because you want them to stay as least hot as possible. You know what I'm saying? So go to headphones, take those. All right. I think we got everything. Finally, freaking audio wasn't working, so I am running late as per usual. Got the puppy in here. Say hi. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. He's real good. morning guys I, I flew in from Arizona at like midnight and I was just I was beat I don't like flying I really don't I guess because I used to do so much international that now I I just I can't do it I hate flying so way home I'll be home for like four days oh my gosh look my customer bought me these socks everything is possum Really big trip coming up um really it's not i'm picking up my mom that i haven't seen in four years and i'm moving her from winnipeg manitoba to vancouver doing a lot of pit stops with my mom i haven't seen her in four years so i'm super excited about that i'm so excited to finally get to see my mom i'm gonna go see my sister you guys will get to meet her and um my nieces my nephews oh it's just so exciting Yay, so I'm on my way to go and pick up my mom. If you guys are wondering why my hair is now black, it's because my daughter pranked me and dyed my hair blue. Um, let's not talk about that. Um, so anyways, I've had a lot of hiccups on my way to Canada, but it is what it is. I, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what else you guys want to see. If I'm doing something that you guys don't like and you guys want me to shut up and record more animals, I will do so. Anyways, I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have seriously changed my life. And if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know where I would be. My phone's ringing. Love you. Bye.